Purpose is the differentiator. You know, purpose is what makes people passionate about your brand. It makes people fall in love with your company and it makes you want to work harder. 76% of millennials say that they consider purpose as a critical factor when they're deciding where to work. 75% of millennials would take a pay cut to work at a company that gives greater purpose in their day upon day. Purpose engages employees, recruits top talent, and retains them to your company. We're gonna bring you into real companies that infuse purpose into their DNA. We're gonna talk about all-stars, the Magic Johnsons of the world, the Oprah Winfrey's, the Richard Branson's, who have built their brands on purpose. So I set up a tiny children's charity. I was 12 years old when I started it. The moment that it all changed, 16. Phone call, Oprah Winfrey was invited on her couch. So she turns to me and says, I'd like to commit to building 100 schools around the world, 100 schools. The next day, I was sitting in front of a man named Tim Bennett, headed Oprah's production company. He turned to me and he said, if you can answer three questions, you'll receive Oprah's money. Do you have currency hedges in place to mitigate against the fluctuations based on the currency which will pay you and the final currency in which you'll spend the dollars in the developing countries? Question two. Do you have liability in place with Paris seismic engineering model to mitigate against any risk that the roof will collapse on the children in Oprah school? Number three, do you have the fiduciary oversight, I literally wrote that word down, fiduciary oversight in place of third party monitoring and evaluation? And if you do, you can have the money now. And if you don't, then I want you here every month presenting to me. I want you every quarter in front of Oprah's board. In fact, we're going to invest millions more to create the best in class engineering, accounting, financial controls, operations, everything necessary to grow this tiny fledgling charity into a group that is worthy of working with Oprah. But what she taught me is that doing good well isn't easy. It's, yeah, it's easy to have the big heart. It's easy to, to want to make a difference. But to do it well, to drive impact, to inspire workers, to engage companies, to achieve long-term sustainable impact. That is what we're gonna talk about today. How business and charity aren't two opposites, but in fact, they're merging on this path together of social entrepreneurship. Oprah taught us how to do good well. Let me tell you the story of Tanya Carnegie. She was a young accountant at the firm KPMG, one of the biggest accounting firms in the world. After a volunteer trip overseas to Africa, she came back and questioned whether her nine to five was equaling the social impact she wanted. She almost quit her job. But then she thought about it and realized that in her company, a company that had reach around the world, she could do more good than joining the nonprofit sector. So she wrote her Jerry Maguire letter. You know what I mean? The letter that you pour your heart into she brings it to the CEO and says, this is what we should be doing. And the CEO looks at her and says, yes. And will you lead it? In fact, she wrote her own job description. She became the chief impact officer. So I wanna challenge you. You don't need to rewrite your job description, but what can you do as one individual to drive purpose? We're gonna give you the secrets, the tools, the actions that you can take right now to infuse purpose into your career, into your company, and yes, into the causes that you care about to make a difference today. Looking at the way um, he and his brother relate to people and they're, they're always drawing out the best. Starting from the age of 12, to show what entrepreneurship is all about. Uh, whether it's in philanthropy or in commerce, it's about meeting the needs and wants of other people. 